So many of you guys are aware that uh, we have a small landscaping business, and whenever it's uh, pretty cold out and it snows, uh, we go out and we do some snow removal here. A little bit of snow today. Let you guys check that out. So uh, we're plow. We have a couple of trucks that have uh, snow plows on the front, and the one of the guys was uh, just driving down one of the main roads. And there's uh, snow on the ground, of course, right? There's snow on the road. And whenever, uh, whenever you're driving down the road, you get ruts in the road and stuff. And when you change lanes with the snow plow, even though the plow's up in the air, sometimes it'll catch a little bit of snow and it'll kind of, you know, splash it up. And even other car tires splash up snow and stuff, right? Well, we uh, got a message, like uh, the secretary had called and, uh, or sent a text, I think, and said, hey, um, somebody just called in and was complaining that one of our trucks splashed snow on her car. <laughs> There's no injury or anything, no harm done. Just wanted to let them know that they needed a real good talking to you because they had a, uh, some snow had gotten from their car, our car, onto her car. <laughs> So, I, uh, you know, I was talking to the, to our team, and I said, you know, the best thing you could do really is, is to just try to help her have some Amuna. Like, I think we could end um, problems and war in the world <laughs> if we all just had a little bit more Amuna to know that, uh, you know, when things splash up on us from others that uh, we don't have to take it personally, right? It's not necessarily something we need to be concerned about. Uh, I know also that uh, I've heard stories, uh, I've never seen it in person, but I've heard stories of righteous people who will um, perform some sort of an action that would apparently be negative to an onlooker, like, uh, you know, smack somebody in the face or something like that. And the reason they did it is because they knew that there was a much more strong judgment against that person. So by that person receiving, um, you know, this small slap, the much larger judgment against them was averted. And I think that's a fantastic way for us to all think about how things happen in our lives and to not take them so personal, to realize that we don't know the full story. Like we're walking in, in the middle of the movie, and we see uh, what's happening to us, and we, and we say, why is this happening to us instead of, why is this happening for me? That's the question we need to be asking. Like, I can't believe that he did that for me, right? Like let's say, I told my team, I said, you know it's possible that the lady that sent us or that called us um, maybe she was texting and driving, right? Or maybe she was beginning to nod off. And this little splash of snow that happened to startle her uh, was enough to make her wake up and, and be able to stop at the next stoplight or avoid, a, God, God forbid, a worse accident. So there's so many things about the story that we're just unaware of. And whenever we react to um, the story without the full story, um, then uh, we can get ourselves in trouble. And it's a, it's a real lack of a moon. We just, we just have to have faith in divine providence, like specifically divine providence for everything that happens um, for us, not to us. How about that? That's a really good way to check it out. I heard a story, and I don't think I would get the story right, um, but the story was like this. It was like there was a guy that was climbing a mountain, and he got, he got a little bit... Uh, thirsty and there was a there was a small stream so he stopped at the stream to get a glass of water and his wallet fell out and he came, he didn't realize the wallet fell out and he kept on moving up the up the mountain the second guy comes along he goes to get a drink out of the stream and sees the wallet and he picks up the wallet and puts it in his pocket and he moves along and then a third guy is climbing the mountain and he is thirsty and he stops at the stream to get a glass of water well the first guy realized that his wallet was missing and he came back to the stream and actually um, accused the first guy of stealing the wallet. They got in a big tussle, and he um, ended up killing the third. The first guy ended up killing the third guy because he had uh, he thought he had stolen the wallet. So we look at that story. We say, "Wow, that's so unfair!" Like the third guy had nothing to do with this whole story. Well, 
reality is we only know partial the story. What had happened was the first guy had stolen $20,000. He had put it in the wallet. The second guy had actually lost $20,000, and he was able to find it. The third guy, sadly, had murdered his brother the day before. So everybody got, and, and then, of course, the first guy goes to jail for murder. So everybody in the story gets exactly the right judgment in the end. And that's the thing that we don't see whenever we don't know the entire story. So <laughs> if you happen to get a little snow on your car, or if you happen to get a little splash of water, you happen to get a smack in the face, whatever it is, do your best to realize that there is a specific divine providence on your life and that the Creator is not doing things to you. He's doing things for you. So anytime that you have something that you need or that you lack, look to the Creator first. Ask Him what it is that you need to see from that specific divine providence, and may He help all of us avoid accidents and only get success in the future, my friends. Be well.